Hello, I'm Tom Kirby, and I'm running for Congress in Georgia's 7th Congressional District. I'd like to spend just a few minutes talking about what I think is the most important thing in this campaign, and that is implementation of the fair tax. Now, let's spend just a minute talking about what the fair tax is and compare it to some of the other taxes to make sure we know what we're all on the same page. Right now, we have a graduated income tax. We have capital gains tax. We have corporate and business tax. You have payroll taxes, including your FICA and Medicare taxes, estate or death taxes, gift taxes. Fair tax is going to replace all of those. Now, it's not a flat tax. The flat tax is similar to what we've got now on income, except it's a flat rate all the way across the board. Therefore, the name flat tax. Some people think it's a VAT tax, or VAT for value added tax. It is not a VAT tax. That's what they have in Germany. A VAT tax is every time they add value to the process and manufacturing, they tax it. Tax that extra value they've added from those raw materials to make that finish good. It's not a VAT tax. The fair tax is a 23% embedded or inclusive national consumption tax or national retail sales tax on good goods that are new or services that are new nothing used sell your home that you already own no tax on it it's only on new goods and services all right now let's understand that 23 percent inclusive or embedded means when you go to the store and you see that price tag and it says it's ten dollars that means 23 percent of that is tax or two dollars and thirty cents and seven dollars and seventy cents is the cost of the item now the good thing is as we've taken out these corporate and business taxes along the way on average we've taken 22 percent of the cost out of that item now it doesn't take a whole lot of math to figure out if i take 22 percent of the cost out i have 23 percent back in i'm basically at the same price within one percent all right so you're going to add little or no differences or see no differences when you get to the cash register now the fair tax, you keep your whole check. Payroll taxes are no longer taken out. There's, you don't have to worry about your gross or net or talk about take home pay. It is your check, you earned it, that's what you get. All right. With the fair tax, you pay the taxes when you buy the new goods or services and everybody pays them. Not just American, but when somebody comes to visit our shore, they go to Florida down to Disney World, they buy something, they're paying the fair tax. Right now, the state of Florida is funding their state government with a tourist tax. They've been doing it for years. There is no income tax in Florida. The tourist tax from the tourist-related industries, going to eat, staying in hotels, going to the theme parks, that 1% or 2% tourist tax pays for all of the state government in Florida. Same principle by having an inclusive sales tax paying for government at the federal level. Now this is a 23% is tax revenue neutral. This is not tax reform. This is just changing the way we're going to collect taxes. All right. We also look at any shadow economies, underground economies. Somebody buys a new house, a new car, no matter what business they're in, they're going to pay the tax on it. They come from another country illegally into in our country. They're now going to be paying taxes for every new goods and services they buy, paying their share of what they're using because anybody in this country takes advantage of some of the some of the services that government offers and that's why it's so important and that's why it's fair now the fair tax like i said it repeals the individual income tax it repeals the alternative minimum tax it repeals corporate and business taxes it repeals capital gains taxes it repeals Medicare and all other payroll taxes. It repeals the estate or death tax, as we call it. And it repeals all the gift tax. And it's replaced all of that with the fair tax. With everything it does for the individual, though, maybe the most important thing that the fair tax is going to do is create the foundation for our economy for the next 50 to 100 years, for generations to come, because of what it will do for manufacturing and what it will do for agriculture. Those are the two industries that create wealth. And by creating wealth, they create the foundation for our economy. By removing the tax burden from manufacturing and their processes all the way through, by taking businesses out from underneath the unfair and stifling tax burden we place on them today, we're going to be able to create wealth by having people come back to this country with their manufacturing plants. We're going to become the tax haven for the world. This is where everybody's going to want to come. Instead of seeing our plants and our jobs leave this shore and go to China, 
Mexico, South Africa, South America. We're going to see them come back here because they're going to have the benefit of the fair tax. And that wealth they create when they take those raw materials and make those new goods that people want is going to be the foundation for our economy. Agriculture, the second part of that. The American farmer feeds the world. But unfortunately, too many farm families with the loss of a generation have to look at selling off parts of land that they've owned and worked for years and years to pay the death tax. And that's just not right. Families that had farms for 50 years having to sell it off because the original grandfather that started that farm passed away. We cannot continue to sell off our farms chunk by chunk, pave them over, and continue to feed the world. We've got to keep the farms intact, give our farm families the opportunity to do what they truly love, and to continue to farm and feed the world as we know it today. And by feeding the world, again, an industry that creates wealth. The creation of wealth is the key, the bedrock, solid foundation for long-term economic success and stability that we've got to have. That's why the implementation of the fair tax is the most critical thing in our economy today to get this economy rolling. Right now, government, our House, our Congress is debating the jobs bill. $15 billion in cost. More at the House side. We've got a jobs bill. It's called the fair tax. Last year, they passed a stimulus package. Spent billions of dollars with little or no success to try to stimulate the economy. You want to stimulate the economy? We've got a stimulus bill. It's called the fair tax. To get this country back going, to create the rock solid foundation, we've got the fair tax and it's time has come and we need to implement it now. I'm Tom Kirby and when you elect me to represent the 7th District of Georgia, I promise you I will work diligently until we get the fair tax enacted. Thank you.